All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give all praises, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakadash. The honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, peace and salutation to the Akiyam and to the elect that are scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and faith and sincerity. I'm the brother Shema Allah from the GMS Houston Camp. And this lesson is going to be entitled Check That Ego. Now, your ego, right? And we all just just to start off by saying this, um <laughs> each and every one of us have an ego. Okay, and your ego basically goes into like right here, I got the et the etamon. I'll just read it real quick, right? Um it says by seventeen oh seven in metaphysics, it says the self that which feels acts or thinks from the Latin ego I. All right. So basically it's about you, all right, the self. Okay, and also when you get the Google definition of it, it goes into a person's sense or self-esteem or self-importance. Okay, and we all have this. All right, we all have that, the motivation or the drive to be important or to want to feel important all right, for actions that we have done okay to be uh recognized you know uh you know these things is uh you know what motivates us it, it it's natural as a human being you know to have these emotions all right to want to be that dude right like I said, to be recognized as a recognition for achievements and things that you've done and, you know, making a name for yourself, right? These things are natural, okay? But it comes to a point to where you got to check that because it can get to a point to where these things could get, you know, uh, very toxic to where it could cloud your judgment your 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 mindset and everything is just about you and personal goals and personal achievements and if it's not going your way then something is wrong right and that's a dangerous place to be in right because when you have an ego right you can feel you you can be a person um that can't take judgment and can't take correction, okay? And a person that blames everybody else, all right, and doesn't take any accountability for their own mistakes and actions because of your ego. Thinking you better than others, can't take advice, Right, from others because you look down upon them, right? You can be someone who is in a leadership position or you can be somebody that possesses a great gift in this truth. You know, you can be a great speaker, you know, a great teacher. All right, you can, you know, know all of these breakdowns and, you know, it could puff you up. And you could look at somebody who doesn't know that as much as you, you could look down upon them. All right, that's, that's, that's all ego. All right, we gotta know. We gotta. We gotta. We gotta put all of that, you know, to the side because it's not about us. This truth is not about us. It's about Yahweh Shai, and we don't make it about us. We make it about the body. Okay, and less about ourselves and our personal endeavors and the things that we want and the things that we want to do. There'll be a time and a place for that in the kingdom of heaven. All right. But now, all of those things have to be put aside, you know, for the, the, the goal, for the mission that we're all trying to accomplish. All right. But this is Proverbs 16 and 18. It says, pride goeth before destruction and the haughty spirit before fall. And let's actually see what this says. In the NLT, it says, who well, says actually the, the same thing? I guess it gets no, no simple, no simpler than that, then. All right. But 
before destruction is pride. Okay? So pride will get you destroyed. And a pride or your ego can get you destroyed. All right? This is Strong's H1347. It says God won. Okay? And it says exaltation, majesty, pride. So exalting yourself. It says pride or arrogance. All right? In a bad sense. Okay. You look up the word arrogant, the quality of being arrogant, haughtiness. It's just an attitude of superiority manifested in an overbearing manner or in presumptuous claims or assumptions. All right. So superiority, an attitude of superiority over others. All right. So that's what that pride is going into. And a person that has a lot of pride, that goes that goes into ego. Yeah, you can't you can't tell this person nothing. And their mindset is just all jacked up. Because you have made it about you. You have turned the truth into something about you. And this just is a bad mindset to have, period. Just not only in this truth, but in the world also. Alright, you can't you can't make it about you. Right, there's much more important things going on than each and every one of us, okay? Especially in this truth, right? It's bigger than us. It's bigger than our wants and, you know, what we think, all right? Although it's a time and a place for what we think. It's a time and a place for all of that, right? When our input, you know, is needed, all right? All of these things have a time and a place, all right? But ego, it's your ego get in the way. It's like you, it, it's always about you. Like, no, I want, I want this. I want to do this. And I, no, it, it, it should happen this way, you know, because I feel that. No, that's off. It doesn't matter what you feel. It doesn't matter what any one of us feel. Like I said, our feelings matter. In in certain situations, or is a time and a place for it? Okay. But this is Proverbs 15 and 22 in NLT. Plans go wrong for lack of advice. All right. It says many advisors bring success. Okay, so scripture also say do nothing without advice. All right, so you got to be humble enough to take advice from others around you. You can't have your ego get in the way as, as far as you just want to, you know, do it all yourself. Right, because you want to get the credit of yourself, right? Which that shouldn't even be, you know, a part of your thought process of oh, I I, did, I want to be recognized for this. Right, I want to be the one, you know, that made this glorious decision, and people look at me as being a wise. But no, that's 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 vain, honestly. That's vain. Okay, but it says plans go wrong for lack of advice. So always seek advice, always seek counsel. From your peers, from those around you, okay, from your brothers, all right, because you're not gonna know everything, and that's fine. Right, you gotta you gotta admit that you don't know everything. That's that's like one of the first steps of of coming into this truth, admitting that you don't know everything, so you can learn, and that learning process never stops. Okay, so let's get. James five and sixteen. Confess your faults one to another, and pray for, one, for and pray one for another that ye may be healed. The effectual fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. So, it says confess your faults one to another. Right? Of course, that's you know when you um when you go off on particular things. Right? All right. We 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 do we have to confess that. All right. We're not supposed to be hiding things or keeping things secret right but also even going to a little mistake say confess hey, look, i was wrong all right you gotta be mad enough to say these things and don't let ego get in the way because no it does not feel right being wrong but you got to overcome that feeling as far as you know still admitting 
that you were wrong, even though it doesn't feel right. Okay? It's not going to feel right being wrong or, you know, making a mistake. Right? But we have to do these things. Okay? You got to take accountability for things. We all have to we all have to be this way, admitting our faults. Okay, and and, and it's like I said, it's fine. We we're gonna make those mistakes being in this flesh. Alright. We're gonna make it. But you gotta own up to it though. It's the only way it can be changed. It's the only way that the situation can get better. Because no one likes, you know, um a person that does not own up to their own mistakes and always have an excuse or blame others, or this is why I did this, because this is that. It doesn't need all that, right? The thing happened, and you did it. Just own up to that, right? And that's how you grow, all right? But ego can get in the way of growth. This is Philippians 2 and 3. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in lowliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. All right, so let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. All right, making it about you. You want, you want, you want a name for you, All right? You want to be this top prophet or this top guy, all right? For, because of something, a gift that you may possess, you might do something really well, right? And you want to be known for it. Right? That's, and it's truth. All that is vain. Okay? All of that is vain. It also says through strife. It, it, it could be anything, man. You have a problem with somebody, all right? Because, I don't know, whatever it may be, right? And you're trying to get someone they call in the world some get back or provoking the brother or, you know, whatever. That's ego, all that's ego. <laughs> All of that goes into ego. You get that feeling as if somebody is, uh, how can I say this? Okay. As if someone is trying to wrong you or whatever the case may be, right? Like this object doing the world. You know, like I said, trying to get some get back or some revenge or, you know, you probably thought something, you know, that's not even actually true, and you feel, you know, quote unquote, played, or, you know, like you're being taken advantage of, and you react off of that, and now you're trying to do a tit for tat, right? That's strife. You just, you just causing BS, all right? And that's ego. You gotta communicate with the person, all right, that you were having these feelings about, and just get that squared away. Okay, that would be the correct way to handle that. But ego can get in the way, and you can feel like, no, I don't want to do that, all right? I'm about to make them feel how I feel, all right? Or oh, well, if it's this, then fuck it. You know, I'm just going to be, yeah, that's that's ego. It said, but in loneliness of mind, let each esteem other better than themselves. So don't make it about you, right? Esteeming your brother higher than yourself, right? Because you're supposed to look at each other as if we well, how shy. Right, or Yahweh Shai is in that man. Or, or if this was Yahweh Shai, how would I treat him? Right, you can never go wrong by having all of these traits, right, that I'm, you know, basically going into um, in these scriptures. All right. But I can never get in the way of you steam another person better than you. Matthew 22 and, th and 12. And whosoever shall exalt himself shall be abased, and he that shall be young shall be exalted. So if you exalt yourself, all right, by way of that pride and that ego, you're going to be abased. The most is going to cast you down. It's going to be a nasty situation. And that's and if you have ego, it's, that's going to hurt you even more. What did Yahweh Shai say about, you know, he said that um, if it's if, if it's a, briefly paraphrasing, right? You know, if it's a great feast, you don't put yourself in the highest seat because you do that and somebody that's actually, you know, higher than you come in and you got to move, right? And then now you you hurt, okay? But he also said for the person that, that takes the lowest seat, you know, out of humility, then someone comes to him and says, hey, no, you, you can come up, right? That's, that's, that's a great example of that. I can't really think about where it's at right now, but that's a great example of that. 
right? A person that has a lot of pride and let the ego get in the way when something happens, you know, to that 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 damages the ego, it makes it even worse. All right, and a lot of times, you know, which it shouldn't be like that, right? That person can't take that. And they usually crash out or do some other crazy, crazy things, right? All because the ego get in the way, right? Because you got ego, you can't take correction. You can't look bad, right? You can't, you know, um, like I said, yeah, look bad in the sight of others, make mistakes, like I said, do any wrong, right? Because in your mind, uh, that that tarnishes your, 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 your legacy or your image when it's not even that, it's not that serious, man. Ego can make it be that. It can turn into something, whatever, man. It blew it out of a proportion. All right? Just, we all got to just got to stay humble. Because it's about your hour shot. It's not about us. We are nothing. All of the things that we possess, the gifts that we have, and this truth comes from your hour shot. All right? He is the one that deserves to be praised and to be worshipped and to be talked about. We will get our glory in the kingdom of heaven. This is Proverbs 1 and 5. A wise man will hear and will increase learning, and a man of understanding shall attain unto wise counsel. So it's all about, you know, constant growth, the constant development of our characters. All right, getting better, getting more disciplined, right? We all have areas that we can keep on increasing in our learning, right? But if your ego, you feel like you got it, all right? You don't need to learn anything else. Right, you feel like you'll know everything. And you gotta learn nothing from nobody. Or somebody try to tell you something. Oh yeah, I already know. Yeah, yeah, I got it, got it. This is this, this. not you feel like you know best in every situation. No, you gotta be willing to continue to learn and to continue to grow. Cause it's never gonna stop. Alright. So yeah, man, it's that I hope this lesson was edifying. Like I said, the name of this lesson was Check That Ego. And with that I'm gonna say Shalom.